Hey guys, it's your friendly reminder to go check out the Nine Point Issue 2 Kickstarter that's going on right now. It is for a comic that I illustrate and Bones writes. If you follow our channel, you probably already know about it, but if you've never heard of Nine Point, it is a fantasy comic about cat knights. And right now we're trying to print issue number two, and if you support it, you can also get a copy of issue number one. So go check out the Kickstarter while it's still going. There's a link in the description down below, and I'm gonna stop talking about this now, and I'm gonna get on to the video. Okay, I think one of the best things you can do for your art and your comics is to do studies. If you ever don't know how to draw something, grab a reference for it. Whether it's photos or videos or looking at yourself in a mirror or asking your friends to do silly poses for you, you know, whatever you need, grab it. It'll help improve your art. It'll make things easier for you because you don't have to come up with everything in your head. And it's just a good thing to do for your art. If you can think of any style of art that's like cartoony or super simplified. It all started from someone looking at real life and translating that into a cartoon. So drawing from life is always a good thing. And as much as I love doing studies and drawing from life, it can be really hard to find time to actually do it. <laughs> Call out post at me. Because basically when you're working on comics, it consumes so much of your time. Oh. I'm constantly struggling to keep up with my comic pages. Most of the time, it feels like I'm working on one page for hours and hours, and I'm not getting anywhere, and the whole night is gone. <laughs> I mean, look at these past few videos. I've been working on the same page, coloring it, for like days now. So yeah, comics are very time consuming. Um, and when I'm not working on comics, you know, I'm doing general life stuff. Like, I work a full-time day job, and I also have to clean my house, and run errands, and take care of my many pets, and visit friends and family so I don't go stir-crazy. So between all this stuff, where I'm actually making pages for my comics, and all the other things that fill up my day, where do I find time to do drawings and studies of, from life? I don't have eight hours to do that in a day. I usually have like 20 minutes. <laughs> but I do still find some time throughout my days to study things and draw from life because it is so important to creating art and making my comics look good. So here are some ways that I utilize studying in my work while still keeping up with my comic pages. Um, so if you're starting your comic, before you start working on your comic pages, which is going to engulf your life, I feel I feel like I'm talking smack about the comics, but I love them. They're time consuming, but I love them, I guess. It's like having like a baby that like cries all the time where like you're dead tired and you want to go to bed, but you love them and you have to nurture them and take care of them cuz they're your baby. That's like comics. <laughs> Anyways, before you start on your comic pages, preferably when you're doing the prep stage of your comic, do a bunch of studies for everything you think you're going to need for your comic. Especially because if you've been following the advice of me and Bones, you've obviously written your script before you started working on your art. So make sure you grab everything that you don't know how to draw in your script, you know? Sometimes that can be you don't know how to draw people or you don't know how to draw certain poses. Maybe you don't know how to draw animals. I was in that boat when I started Nine Point. I didn't know how to draw anthros. I didn't know how to draw cats very well. And so before we started making actual comic pages, I did a whole bunch of studies on how to draw animals and then how to turn that into like a furry anthro character. Um, I've done studies on medieval clothing and castles and medieval housing forests, you know, there's lots of stuff that I've studied before actually beginning comic pages. So I think that is like a very good place to get in most of the studying you'll need for your comic. But honestly, at any stage in your comic, if you don't know how to draw something, that is a really good time to study how to draw it. To so say you are like partway through your comic, you started drawing pages, you've done a bunch of prep already, and suddenly you discover that you have this special car that shows up and you don't know how to draw this car, guess what? You're going to grab your references, you're going to put down the comic pages for a bit, and you're going to study how to draw this car because it's important to your story. Don't be afraid to take a quick break 
do some studying when you need to because it should only take like maybe an hour, maybe a couple hours to figure this thing out and then you can jump back into your comic pages. Study on the go, I guess. And even better than that, keep references with you while you draw your comics. Um, instead of like stopping every time you come across something you don't know how to draw, throughout your days, just collect references. Grab photos of poses you think are cool. Grab photographs of buildings and settings. And maybe you knew there was a car coming up in your script that you knew you needed to draw, so you went and got a whole bunch of references already for that car, so that when you finally open it up, you got everything there. I'll do this a lot. Um, I have lots of references for um, settings and costume designs that Bones and I collect on, um, just like in a private Discord server we have, um, where whenever I'm like, I don't know how to draw this thing, I'll just go jump into there and pick out a few, say, like, medieval dresses or something that I've collected, and there we go. I have everything I need. I didn't have to spend hours looking through photos and references and videos. I have everything I need right there. So make sure you got your references close so you can grab them real quick. Now let's say, like, so all this stuff is, like, good and fine. It'll cover your bases when you are mostly focused on your comic pages. It's like if you have got your references with you and you stop and kind of learn how to draw things on the fly, you know, that'll get you through things when it's tough and you're in a bind. Um, but like, honestly, if you ever find that you have just 20 minutes, do a little timed study session on the side. Um, you don't necessarily have to, like, do a study session of something you particularly need for your comic. It could just be, like, following a general interest. Um, say you're doing, like, nine point, but you're like, hey, I want to learn how to draw a spaceship. <laughs> you know, take 20 minutes and just grab some references and do some studies of, like, actual rocket ships or something. There's nothing wrong with that. Even if you're studying something that doesn't have anything to do with your comic, you're still, you know, building up your art skill and that'll translate to anything that comes up in your comics. I don't know, you're like getting into that mindset of doing art. And the more you do that, the, I don't know, the nicer it is, the more in tune with your art you are. And it just makes things go a little bit more smoothly when you're actually working on your comics. And honestly, it's nice to take a break from comics every once in a while because they do consume your life and you need variety and you need to take a break from really big projects because otherwise you're just gonna like get stuck in it and things are gonna go poorly or you're gonna burn out. So like, take breaks and study other things. And like I said, timing it is really helpful. So just set like a 20 minute timer or a 10 minute timer if you really don't have any time, which I totally understand, same. Just set a little timer and just draw during that timer. When the timer is done, you can go back to working on comics or back to your busy life and you don't have to finish the study. The study doesn't have to be turned into this, like, beautiful finished piece of artwork. It's just a mental exercise to help with your art. That's it. I think a part of studying that doesn't get talked about, because usually people are just talking about, like, the practice of art, which I totally get. I think it's really important when studying art and studying from life is just to go out and observe life. You know, if you're just waiting at a bus stop to get home from your job or whatever, just, like, watch people, see how they walk and how they move, you know, study what clothing people are wearing and how light affects people and objects around you and, you know, think about the colors of the world around you and how you can translate that into your own work. You know, sitting and thinking about things and observing is a really important part of translating the world into artwork. Even if you're not drawing, you're still learning how to draw things the more you observe. So I think that's a really underrated thing that is a big part of being an artist. Basically, get studying in where you can, but don't beat yourself up if you can't always do it. Because honestly, you can't always do it. That's just a fact. But you're always going to be observing nature and reality, even if you're not drawing it at the time. I think a lot of people myself included sometimes now, but a lot in the past. Um, they get on their high horse about, like, the fundamentals of art and always drawing from life, but in reality, you just can't do it all the time. Your, your own art journey is gonna go however it is gonna go. I, in my early drawing days, did not do a lot of studying, and I'm still an okay artist now, and I'm really happy with a lot of the work I've done. 
You know, there's no right way or wrong way to do it. Studying life should be a tool in like your artist toolbox to get the results you want on your pages and not something that feels like a burden or something you feel really guilty over. Don't do that because then art isn't fun and art should be fun. Honestly, studying is fun if you make it fun Um, because the act of drawing and making art is rewarding and fun in itself, but not when you feel guilty and sad all the time. So don't do that. Be nice to yourselves. You're going to improve a lot if you utilize references and you're studying, but you're also going to improve a lot if you're just drawing and actually doing the thing or thinking about it as well. So you can't really go wrong. (laughs) Um, You can do it. I believe in you. I hope you all are having fun working on your comics. I know I'm having fun working on my comics. I Like I said, I complain about them a lot, but I love them. They're my sweet children. So yeah, I'm here with you. I think you guys are great. You can do it. Okay? Stop beating yourself up about not studying. It's fine. It will. Okay. Well, that's all I got. Thank you so much for watching. Um, please consider supporting our Kickstarter for Nine Point Bones, and I really want to print this thing, and being in the middle of a Kickstarter is always kind of nerve-wracking, because there's always a chance it's not going to fund, and I really want this to fund, because we've been promising people issue number two, so please consider helping us out. We'd really appreciate it, and thank you so much if you have already pledged. Um, seriously. It makes me so happy, and thank you guys. And, like, I've drawn so many cats and studied so many pictures of cats and drawn my own cats being silly billies, so, like, help me put this knowledge to good use and make this cat comic. I'm gonna go. I still haven't done my art for this video yet as of recording this, so I better go. Goodbye!